We're standing here in the graveyard of Maria Presbyterian Church once more um, and we're looking at a, a gravestone here which presents us with a small geneal genealogical challenge. The Reverend William Thompson was the minister here from 1872 to 1881 for nine years. Um, he married a lady called Catherine Marshall. Mm. Now he married her in Hackney in London. We don't really know who her parents were or why they were in uh, London, why they were there when they got married. But we do know that in uh, 1882, after they had three children here in Donegal, they headed off to Scotland, to a place called King Lassie, if that's pronouncing it right, in Fifeshire in Scotland, um, where he took up another position there uh, in 1882. Um, and they had one more child, as far as we know, there in Scotland. But then he died in 1891. As a very young man, he was only 39 when he died. Um, and we are fairly certain that he is buried in Scotland. However, his wife, Catherine, she only survived him by another seven years, and she died in uh, 1898. But she obviously has been brought back here to Monrea, where she had her three children and she lived in their early married years, uh, to be buried. We're just wondering, why was she brought back to Ireland to be buried? while her husband is buried in Scotland. It's these little mysteries that make genealogy so interesting because they, they tell somebody's life story. Poor man died very young and his wife didn't outlast him for very long. Why are they not buried together somewhere in Scotland? Somebody must know the answer to this. Maybe we'll get some information on it. Mm -hmm. And boy, do you have some information regarding the census of 1881? Uh, it's the uh, census of 1891. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We have we have them in, in the census of 1891, and we have uh, Catherine and William in that census. So although he died in 1891, the census was done, and uh, he died in March 1891. The census must have been done before that. The pair of them are still alive there. They should have four children, uh, but one of their children is missing. Uh, Catherine, named after her mother, was born in 1881. She would have been 10 by the time of this census. She's not mentioned in the census, so one has to assume that poor Catherine died uh, as a child. Yeah, and Reverend William Thompson was, uh, I, th I think he was responsible for the building of the manse here? He actually was responsible for the building of, of the manse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good stuff. We've actually found the missing child, the one that we knew had died from the 1891 uh, census in Scotland. <coughs> She was born here in 1881 in Ireland and there's her mother's gravestone there and this is her gravestone. It actually says, in affectionate memory of Catherine, same name as her mother, infant daughter of the Reverend William Thompson, died, I think it's the 18th of April, 1881. Yes. Now she was born in 1881 so she must have been only Oh, a very tiny baby, a very tiny infant, and she died. So maybe that's why Mother came back to Ireland to be buried, to be buried with her infant daughter of the same name. Who knows? <laughs>